Hi guys, how you doing? And welcome to your weekly update, week number six, the cursed class. So why have I called it the cursed class? Well, for those of you who haven't seen the class, you won't know the mistakes that are in it. For those of you who haven't seen the short little video that I did last week about the recording of the class, you won't know the problems I had there. So let me explain. Are you sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. So, the rock edition. Started filming, no problem. Had a new toy to play with, which was the microphone. Never tested it before in a class. So we thought, ah, we'll just go, go guns blazing, all in, here we go. So, during the filming, as you all know, I try and film my classes in one take, which allows me to be a little bit more authentic and more of a live class situation. So it's as I normally teach. The only drawback with that is, I get incredibly sweaty because I'm working just as much as you guys are, which means my digits get incredibly sweaty. Yeah, digits, these things, fingers, yeah? I use touch screens to start and stop recording. Sweaty digits and touch screens, not the most reliable combo, as I found out. So during the recording of class six, I get to the double hill. Everything's gone swimmingly up until that point. Press record with sweaty digit and it doesn't make contact with the button. So at the end of sweaty double trouble hill, I press what I think is stop. It's actually record. And you can actually see the moment during that little clip that I showed last week of where it actually sinks in that I'm gonna to have to do the double double again. So, we film it again, get even more sweaty. What you didn't realize is following the double double was a sprint track. Now with increased sweatiness on digit, went to hit record once again, didn't work. So I had to re-record the sprint track with the sweaty digit, sweaty me, etc. So I've done a double, 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 and two sprint tracks. Nice. That caused me to sweat lots. That caused me to breathe lots, which is nicely picked up on said microphone. So one thing to cure the noise on the microphone and the heavy breathing is I've ordered a fluffy thing that kind of sits on top of it, which is meant to cut out wind noise and hopefully my breathing. So you can just hear my lovely dulcet tones motivating you during the class and not me dying on my ass, hopefully. Not sure when it's gonna be delivered. It's come from China. So we'll see if that works and when it will arrive. Talking of deliveries, I'll come back to that. So recording didn't go to plan. I went to upload it on Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening as I normally do, ready for Monday at nine o'clock. And during the upload process, I got a message from YouTube to say that a certain company don't like the fact that you're using this track of music, can you please delete the track of music or the whole video will be blocked. So they blocked the video. So my options were then either re-record the whole class, so I would have done a double, 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 maybe, or cut out the track that they didn't want me to use. I didn't have time to re-record it. I might do it at some point in the future, um, which you may have noticed is why when you go through the class, it goes from track three with me chatting a little bit and then dive straight into track four because track three was the one that was the issue and I had to get YouTube to cut it out so they would upload the class in readiness for Monday morning at nine o'clock because I didn't want to miss my deadline because I'm a pro, you know, at something. Definitely not YouTube. So that was another issue. So in my haste to make a thumbnail with my new program that I've discovered or was told about, um, I did it all in a nice cracking photo of me doing that. 
still can't do it. Um, rather than putting week six in the thumbnail, I put week five. So even more professionalism for you. And I also forgot to put in the link uh, or in the description, the links to the playlists, which I'd promised I would do without fail during the weekly update five and also throughout the class six as well. Um, so I failed on that as well. So you can see why I'm not a particular fan of class six. So we won't be doing that again. So hopefully it's taught me a few more lessons as ever. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a smoother journey with class seven, which is coming up next Monday at nine o'clock for you. Deliveries. Let me cut to the deliveries, right. Okay, I'm gonna rant now for a little bit. Post men and post women, I don't know what the collective term for a post person, the, the ones that deliver your mail, um, have been working solidly since lockdown. They've had to deal with more deliveries, they're working longer hours, and bless them, it's been incredibly hot most of the time as well, so fair play to them. As I've said before, I work in a bike shop. We also have been open since lockdown trying to serve as many customers in a confined space as we possibly can which has caused its own frustrations and stresses etc but we've been open to try and help people why is it then that the depot feels that it can only open for two hours a day so if you miss a delivery which i did on monday because i was working trying to help people my wonderful postman tried to deliver my package because that's his job and my wonderful son who's been off school for 10 weeks and still can't get up before nine o'clock to meet said postman meant we got one of those wonderful little red cards okay so i know from experience that the depot decided oh we're only going to open for two hours a day seven o'clock in the morning till nine o'clock in the morning brilliant really helpful that thanks a lot so off i trundle this morning being wednesday around eight ish to get down to the depot to pick up my new toys that i was hoping to use in friday's class only to be told sorry we're shut we don't open wednesdays right so you're only open for two hours a day you don't open Wednesdays, and I've also been told they don't open Sundays. So I have now, because I'm working tomorrow, doing my job, helping people, got to go on Friday now, to hopefully, if they decide to open, pick up my new toys, and try and work them out, ready for filming on Friday, for class seven. Two hours, five days a week. Why? Rant over. But if someone could explain why, that'd be most helpful. Anyway, moving on. So, been a bit moany this week, I do apologize. Um, class seven is gonna be back to normal, so back to our normal music. Um, so that will be Monday morning, nine o'clock, and I promise, I say I promise, I will do my best to make it the full 45 minutes as opposed to 40 and I will promise to get the right thumbnail and I, I hope to put the playlist on there as well straight away so you can have that as well. I've said a lot of promises and I will see how we go. Anyway, as ever, thank you so much for listening to this drivel today and for the previous updates and for sharing them and liking them and commenting, etc., etc. et cetera. Um, it does, as I've said before, it does mean a lot to me. So thank you so much for your support. And I hope you're enjoying the classes if you're doing them. Um, and we'll see how we go with our circuit classes, which will hopefully be up and running in the next week or so when I finally get the delivery of my mats. If my son can be bothered to wake up and get them, or if not, the depot decides to open for those two hours between seven and nine so I can pick them up. Rubbish. Anyway, as ever, have a good week, stay safe, and I'll see you all very soon. Thanks, guys.